Welcome to Digital Toolbox. So today we're going to break apart our panelized surface and lay them down onto two pan two surfaces so we can fabricate them. So to get started, you guys should create um, two surfaces in Rhino, and then we're going to input that into Grasshopper by going to Geometry and grab the Surface button from Parameters. I'm going to set one surface to per to per surface. Next thing we need to do is to divide our surface into frames so we can lay our our objects or panels onto that surface. So we'll go to surface, go to utilities and grab the surface frames. And we need two of these. And we will we'll input that into the surface. And if by now uh, the U and V are default by 10, so there will be 10 segments, not 10 frames. So we need to subtract one because when we input R, U, and V, we want it to be five frames, not six frames. So go to logic and grab the one variable expression. And I'm going to type in X minus one into expression editor and then commit change. And then U will go into one of these and V will go into the other. And then put that into the respective slots for U and V. Next thing we want to do is be able to rotate these um, frames so we can maximize our fabrication. So we go to XForm, go to Euclidean, and grab the rotate. I'm going to copy and paste this because we need two. And then the G will be our frames that we want to rotate, which is the geometry. And then the reference point will be our frames also. And I'm going to edit A in the expression editor as radical I mean rad a which is changing any input into radians and then we we'll grab a number slider we we'll name it as aperture in the a in the a and I'm going to edit it to become integers and the upper limit to be 360 and I'm going to set the value to be zero I'm going to copy and paste this and rename this to be B. And then input that into the respective rotation. And then I'm going to move these frames or, or these buttons to over here. And then now we can try we can orientate. So to do that we'll go to X form, go to Euclidean and Orient. I'm going to copy and paste this because we need two. Put this into G, which is our surface. And then I'll ask for a reference plane and a target plane. So our target pla planes are the, the planes that we created on our surface. So we'll put that into to B. As you can see here, it created all the geometry and placed into B. And to fix that, we need to flatten all G, A, and B. And then to create our reference plane, we need to create um, points that are, are the center of our panels. So we'll go to surface, go to analysis, and grab the B rep area. And we need two of these. And then we need to create planes on these on these surfaces. So we'll go to vector and grab the, and go to plane and grab the plane three point. And I'll copy and paste this also. So A, which is the origin point, will be our center of the plane. And then B asks us for an X direction point, and C asks for the orientation point. So the first, the X direction point will be the first item, and then the second item will be C. And then B will go into the third item, and the fourth item will go into C for the bottom ones. And then this will go into A. for the orient. So now we have our surface our our panels laid out into our surfaces. And I'm also going to unpreview the rotate and the frames and the three point and the area. I'm also going to unpreview the the surfaces. So now we can also rotate our 
our surface so we can get a maximized area so we can overlay our surface in Rhino to get to get a better um, efficiency when we fabricate them so that's how you orientate objects onto a surface and thanks for watching